With the remote SSH extension, you can connect VS Code to remote machines. Now, by default, the remote SSH extension will actually look at your local SSH config files to determine which machines you can connect to. So if I go and open the command palette with Control shift p or Command shift p here, and then say connect to, and we want the remote SSH connect to host, it will list off a number of hosts here, and these are actually getting picked up from my um, local SSH config file that I've set up. This one, for example, is pointing to parallels. Now, using the remote SSH extension, we can actually go and configure additional hosts for this file. So we could actually go and look at this file ourselves if we wanted to. So let's go and actually look at the config file that it's using here. This is the raw config file, so we can make edits in that. But if I go and I open this command again, we could also use the remote SSH extension to go configure a new host. So let's do add new SSH host in this dialog here. And now it's prompting me for a new host. And, and here, all I have to type in is a um, host name possibly with a username as well. So I could do something like Matt B, which is my current username at localhost. And once I hit enter here, now it's going to ask me which SSH config file I want to save this host to. So let's just go save it to the main SSH config file here. And you can see that sure enough in this config file, it has now gone and added this new localhost entry uh, with the username of Matt B. Now, once we have that set up, we can go in here and say, let's go connect to localhost. And now VS Code is connecting to localhost setting up the machine, it needs my password. And now sure enough, it is connecting and we have successfully connected to the local host instance using this newly created SSH config. So that's a quick look at how you can configure SSH hosts using the VS Code remote SSH extension.